Okay, so here we have a video of how I make the uh, nuts and saddles out of hippo ivory. You can see here is the bridge, which has a slot cut in it for not only a saddle, which I'm cutting now, but for a pickup. You can see right in there a uh, piezoelectric pickup, which would come through you know fixing the bridge in place on the top but you don't want the bridge to move anyway so there's no big deal on that just a little bit of movement's all you need and these bridges are fully compensated and you can raise and lower them pretty easily this is for a 12 string Irish style citron so I cut them out of hippo ivory and you can see this is an old piece very discolored has some old dirty cracks in it Big crack here. I have the other part, and it's just a it's a tusk. It's quite a piece. And here we have a couple of uh, nut blanks. I was uh, just recently cutting nuts for a, a ten course baroque sit. I mean a lute, which requires a large nut. Anyway, this stuff is the best stuff for nuts and saddles that I've ever found. And you see, there's a piece. So this is how I do it. This is a push stick that we can use that to square it up. Here is the sanding disc. We'll turn it on. And right now I'm just fine shaping. So you can see this is how I do it. I hold it and I eyeball almost everything. So I'm trying to get this to fit right in there. Actually this way. So just go a little bit more. And then the easiest way to give it a curve is very carefully just build one in. Fine tune it later with sanding block or sandpaper. Just want it to be a tight fit. It's so wide because I want to be able to compensate it well. Pretty important that we do that. So that the instrument, even with a moving sat a, a bridge can play in tune. Getting close, just a little more. Just a little more. All I'm doing is rough shaping this thing so it fits in the slot of the bridge. I want it to fit like this. Getting close. Just a little more. Make sure everything's square. Got to watch out with sanding discs because they can be dangerous. I take the tips off of my fingers all the time. And I have jammed my thumb several times very badly. There we go. It's done. We'll turn it off. And that's it. And I want to thank you for watching this uh, special video on how to make saddles for floating bridges. We'll see you later.